right across Europe, vaccine hesitancy has been a problem for governments as they try to roll out their inoculation programmes. And the spread of online misinformation has contributed to this. Despite the efforts of the likes of Facebook and Twitter, misinformation and conspiracy theories about the virus and COVID-19 vaccines continues to exist. Let me show you one example of some misinformation and why we know that it is untrue. This is a post that has been shared online in France, and it claims, without evidence, linking to an article, that COVID-19 vaccines cause variants of the virus to emerge and spread. It claims that people who have been vaccinated are apparently biological time bombs. And as you can see, it's accompanied by an image of dynamite sticks labelled COVID-19 vaccines. Now, this claim is false, but these rumours have still spread online in French cities like Lyon and Nice, as well as across the border in Switzerland. Here, for example, you can see that same claim has been uploaded to a Facebook page in France, which has more than 33,000 likes and more than 52,000 followers. And once again, that content has also been shared on Twitter by an account here with more than 6,300 followers. Now, soon after these false claims were published and shared online, immunologists and virologists were quick to the keyboards, debunking these claims. So let me explain the facts behind these rumours. Firstly, in a statement from the World Health Organization, they have reiterated that there is no evidence to support this. There is no evidence that COVID-19 vaccines cause variants of the virus. In fact, they say vaccination is part of the solution for suppressing transmission of COVID-19. So the science here is that transmission of the virus is the origins of how variants emerge and it is not linked to vaccinations. And for more on this, I spoke to Professor Luke O'Neill, who's an immunologist at Trinity College Dublin. This is what he told me. Every time it divides, you get a slight difference, you see. It's a random process. And every time the virus makes a copy of itself, it makes a tiny error. And of course, there is the chance of these errors being sort of troublesome, shall we say, and, and new variants might emerge that are more dangerous or more whatever. We have seen variants, of course. Uh, it looks like they're finite. We have a set number of them now, which is good, because now we have them in our sights. But of course, if the vaccine stops the virus replicating, because remember, the vaccine brings out the immune system to kill the virus, that stops it replicating. So therefore, the chance of variants emerging is decreased by vaccines is the essence of it. Now, Professor O'Neill also reiterated that vaccinations are the way out of this pandemic and has urged us all to promote factual and healthy conversation about these jabs. There's never been an example, actually, that we know of where a vaccine has driven a, an evolutionary event to allow for a more malicious version of the virus to emerge. No evidence at all. So where these rumours are coming from, there's no scientific basis for them. The number one message is get the vaccine out because it'll stop the virus. So any, any sort of suggestion that the vaccines are making things worse is completely the opposite message to give out. It's an emergency. We must get as many people vaccinated as we can to stop variants emerging and to stop the virus from spreading. That's the key message, really. This kind of misinformation spreading online can be so dangerous, especially when recent polls have shown that in France, just 59% of adults say they are willing to get a vaccine against the novel coronavirus. But just to reiterate there, Tokes, no evidence that vaccines are causing variants of the virus to emerge.